Hello everyone. This is the seventh lecture, and today we will learn about executing cell commands inside TCL, and we will also learn about escape sequences later on. So, exec command is used for executing cell commands inside the TCL. So, this is how it works. The format is exec, and then the shell command. We have used here ls as the shell command, which will list all the files in the directory. ls star dot tickle. It will list all the TCL files in the directory. to use it inside tickl you have to use exec along with it let's see the demo so first we will show shell command this is ls this is how it works now to use this command we have to use exec along with it inside tickl shell first we will execute tickl shell tclsh will give us tickl shell now exec then after that we will use ls so that will list out all the files inside the directory this is how it is now we will use let's first of call clear it now we will use exec and after that let's say we want to print only the file starting with associative number name so associative star only one file is there associative dot tickle this is how it works let's clear it also along with this we will show you ls if there is any switch along with that we can directly use it for example ltr is a switch which will execute along with files it will give you time stamp and date this is how it is now let us see what is escape sequence escape sequence refers to a combination of characters beginning with backslash followed by letter or digits escape sequence represents non printable and special characters in character or literal strings so here put test after that let's say we want to print next line character so if we directly write like this backslash and inside the put statement it won't print the backslash backslash and character it will just give a new line inside the command line to print it we have to give one backslash along with slash and character so if we do like this then it will print the slash and character we will see this the inside the demo also so for a re for our reference we will put no slash along with it and also in our next line here we will pr uh, print like slash and then space n this is just for our reference so that we can understand better let's see the demo we will first see where is the file is there so file is there escape sequence dot tickl now let us clear the screen and after that let's say we will run it let's see so no slash n after that slash n character is not printed but in second line we can see where double slash n were present slash n character is correctly printed here in first line slash n character is replaced with new line character so this is how it is let's see one more example so for tab we have slash t character similar to slash n for new line so to print slash t we have to use double slash t if we want to print it correctly to print it correctly we have to use one more slash and along with it why because it is replaced in first case with actual tab in the command line to see this we have one example here this this escape sequence dot tickle let's clear it now tclsh then file name when we run it we can clearly see slash t is replaced with actually tab on the current line but in second time it is correctly printed this is how it is thank you